like um, vanilla with a little bit of like Cabbage Patch doll. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my April Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box and I've tried out all but one product in here. So I definitely have some thoughts on these products. So I'm gonna run through them, let you know what I think and do a little unboxing type video. So let's get to it. First, I'm gonna start with the thing that I have not tried out yet. This is by Measurable Difference and it is the concealer collection. It's a 16 color pro concealer palette and it's a retail price of $19.99. It says featuring 16 versatile shades. This makeup set works for any skin tone. The creamy blendable formula melts perfectly into the skin, making any blemish or skin flaw disappear. So the reason that I didn't try this out is because there's really, I really don't think that there are colors in here that are gonna work for me personally. Um, even the lighter ones look a little bit too deep and a little bit mostly all too yellowy tone. This one's pretty pinky tone. That would maybe work under my eyes, but I just don't want to waste it because I really don't think that this is, you know, ideal for me and I just probably won't get a ton of use out of it. I would have loved if they like gave us a quiz or something and then, you know, gave you a concealer palette that matched closer to your skin tone, like a light, medium, and deep concealer palette for, you know, people. Because I feel like People that will be most excited about this are freelancers. I do freelance work, but I already have concealers in that, and I don't do a ton of it. I just, I really don't have time to do more than I do. So I would think that somebody who needs concealers for their freelance kit would be really excited about this because it is really nice that it's all in there together, and it sounds like it has a nice consistency, but again, I just didn't want to waste it. So I'm sorry I haven't tried this out, but I'm showing it to you. This is in the box. Then there's a set of sponges in here. This is the Blend Squad three-piece contour blending sponges. And this is by Pure, the Complexion Authority. Retail price of $36 and it says, set of three latex-free and non-allergenic blending sponges. Can be used damp or dry. It's washable, reusable, and odor-free. It says, for an airbrushed look, dampen your sponge before use. Blend out your foundation, concealer, or cream contour product with the rounded side. Flat side can be used for powder products. So I used the red one today. That's why it's all puffed up and dirty looking. <laughs> so I first, this is what they look like, you know, when they're dry. So I first started trying this out dry and it was just really tough, like just very rubbery and I didn't feel like I was really getting a good application, but then I dampened it and it really like puffed up a lot. Um, and then I applied my foundation with it and I liked it. Is it my favorite sponge I've ever used? No, it's not the softest. Um, it just feels a little bit more tough, but it, it does feel pretty durable. So maybe it would last longer than other ones. Um, and I like the shape of it. I like that it's, you know, the, this looks terrible. I really should have washed this after I used it. So I apologize, but this is, this is real life folks. So <laughs> clearly I used it, but I like that it's like the rounded side on this side and then the flat side. So Anyway, I think that's pretty cool. And to get three of them, that's really nice. Then I got a shampoo and this sounds really familiar to me. So I really think I've gotten this in some subscription box before. So either, I thought it was BoxyCharm, but maybe it was a sample size in Ipsy or maybe it was FabFitFun. I don't remember, but this sounds familiar to me. This is the Project Beauty Hair Girt. Hair Girt. Smoothing yogurt shampoo and this is in strawberry banana yum Says with prebiotics quinoa and super botanicals for beautiful hair sulfate and paraben free What does it say about this? This is a retail price of ten dollars says wondering when your hair got a mind of its own Try this creamy rich shampoo with yogurt pro prebiotics quinoa six botanical oils and bio keratin to help tame frizzy dry hair free of sulfates, parabens, harsh salt systems, harmful colors, and harmful fragrances. So I used this today and I liked it. I mean, my hair does feel very soft. So this will probably not be my ideal shampoo just because my hair is already soft. So things that make it softer make it just like kind of a little bit flat. But I liked it better this time using it than I remember liking it before. I remember I like wasn't a huge fan of it before, except for the smell. I've always liked the smell. That's really nice. Yeah, it's like, it's really good. It's strawberry and banana for sure. And this is gonna sound bad, but a little bit like Pepto-Bismol, but like not in a bad way. 
like strawberry banana, but with a little like spin of Pepto-Bismol, but like in a good way. It's okay. It's just, there's a little something in there extra and it, it smells a little bit like Pepto-Bismol. So anyway, that's a side note, but I like the scent. Um, and I do feel like it cleaned my hair well. It just, again, made it really soft. So this is probably best suited for non-fine hair, like normal to, you know, um, coarse hair textures. So that's cool. Smells really yummy. And this is really exciting. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. So this is the one that came in the box. I'm gonna keep that for a giveaway because I already have this. This is a retail price of $35 says, soak up the summer sun day or night with Ofra's Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This radiant new product captures the luxury and glamour of the famous streets in sunny California. So I do have this on today. This is beautiful. I love Ofra products. I think they do just such good makeup. Their highlighters are beautiful. Their liquid lipsticks are beautiful. They just have good makeup. Now this one, um, when I first got this, I wondered how this would work for me because it looks more kind of like golden and deeper, but it still works. I mean, it definitely has more of like that golden, you know, deeper golden sort of a color. You can see it on my cheeks. You can see it on my hand there. <laughs> um, but I do feel like it still works. You know, it blends into my blush. Um, I just find that I kind of have to bring it into my blush a little bit to kind of like meld everything together, but it's just a beautiful, um, kind of like medium to deep golden color, not super deep, but it's it's not like a light champagne, champagne-y, 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 icy sort of a gold. It's like a, a little bit deeper, but beautiful, really nice texture, really pigmented, love it. And lastly, there is a lip gloss in here. This is Plato's Cave by Allegory Story. It's retail price of $15. It says a creamy pigmented lip gloss with bold color and a touch of vanilla scent. So I have this on today. Again, it's in Plato's Cave. And it just says Allegory Story Cosmetics Lip Gloss. So the outside packaging is really cute. Kind of like a 50s diner or something. Adorable. The packaging of the gloss itself is adorable. I love this with the little like, you know, shiny little bits in there with the pink really beautiful. This is nice. Like I really like the texture of this gloss because it's kind of like that perfect balance between it's a little bit sticky where it's going to stick around, but not uncomfortably sticky. So I really like the texture. The texture cannot talk today. The texture on this gloss, um, just a nice balance right there in the middle. And this is like a very kind of like chestnutty brown sort of a color, but really pretty. I like this a lot. As far as the scent, definitely has a vanilla sort of a scent. Um, reminds me of um, Mary Kay lip glosses. That's what it smells like to me. It's like um, vanilla with a little bit of like cabbage patch doll. You know what I mean? Like that kind of like powdery, like baby powder sort of a scent. <laughs> That sounds so weird, but that's what it smells like to me. But I think it smells really nice. So I do like the scent of it. Reminds me of Mary Kay smelling lip glosses and it's a pretty color and I like how it feels on the lips. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added it up and it's a value of $115.99. So great value. I wouldn't say this is my favorite box for sure. I would have changed the concealer palette. That's really not something I'm super pumped about but I love this highlighter. So I think this is awesome that this is in here. Like if you don't have this highlighter, this is amazing. So for this to be in the box is great. Love this gloss. I think it's so nice, really nice formula. And these sponges are really good. And it's nice that you get three of them. Again, they're not my favorite, but I do think they're nice. And it's cool that you get three of them in here. So really it's just a concealer palette that doesn't make me like super excited about this box, but I still think it's a good one. So if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you got BoxyCharm, I would love to know what you think about it. What was your favorite thing you got in here? What are your thoughts? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.